Today's video is three things you do not want to do with your crypts, and believe it or not, this one right here is not the worst of the bunch. Welcome back to the Smallscape. Today I am talking about crypts, and I do have um, I have a few little examples here brought to you by me and some mistakes that I. I have made in the past and I continue to do here and there so I figured that I would share with you because who doesn't love crypts? I would say in the hobby, generally speaking, the most popular types of aquatic plants and ones that people frequently get into first would be the beautiful group of Anubias. I did a video last week talking all about Anubias so I figured I'd talk about crypts today. It's, this, it's, a, it's a great collection of aquatic plants, perfect for beginners, intermediate, advanced alike. It's just a great plant. Now this one is uh, example number one, and this is not the worst one. I'm gonna show you a great example of point number one, and that is don't float your crypts. If you're like me, maybe you go to a swap or you go to a pet store and you get a bunch of crypts, you don't have an aquascape already, so maybe you just chuck them in another tank and they, they float to the top and this is what's going to happen. It's the same thing that will happen with an Anubius if you float it at the top. It will get all kind of wonky. It won't be growing up. It's probably laying somewhere like this or this and the leaves just get all messy. If you wait till the end of the video, I'm gonna show you what I like to do when something like this happens. It's not the end of the world, it really isn't, but I don't really like my crypts looking like this. They're, all these little examples that I do have, they are very young and immature so there's not a whole lot of leaves but this one looks way better at least the the leaves are going in the right direction but point number two along with not floating your crypts because they just they, they're not going to do as well as if you plant them into the substrate oh and if you do plant them into the substrate just make sure that they stay down there and just check on them to make sure that they don't if you plant them and then they just decide to unroot themselves just just check on them every so often. But point number two is when you are planting them into the substrate, don't be too rough with them because they are very, very breakable. What I like to do is when I plant them, and if I am being fancy and using my escaping tweezers, I like to grab it by the rhizome, which is this part underneath here, and not pull it hold it anywhere up here because when the, the the part where the stem meets this uh I don't even know what this part is called like a little bulb area that that transitions to the rhizome this part right here is where they will frequently break off they are very 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 sensitive so if you're planting them make sure that you're holding them at the rhizome and number three especially if you are a beginner and you've never had crypts before, what you might be scared of, uh, the first thing that you may see is when you plant your crypts and they begin to dissolve, get mushy, and they look like they're dying. And you're like, wow, I just killed my plants. I can't do this. I can't do aquatic plants. They didn't make it. Well, it's, that's what's called crypt melt. Crypts like to melt when they go to a new tank. I, pref I have, usually have way better luck if I am introducing crypts, especially the ones that I've just gotten, if I introduce it to an established tank and they just do better. However, if your crypts do start to melt and they start the leaves start melting, dissolving, getting mushy, trim, remove anything of that's uh, mushy looking and just discard it. It will, and it is in the process of regenerating new leaves for you. But along with point number one is if you do get wonky, wonky little leaves and it's, uh, it's, it's just not looking right, or if you don't want to mess with crib melt at all, what you can do is cut the leaves before you even plant. Yeah, it won't look that great, I understand that, but it will just regenerate leaves right off the bat. Plant it somewhere where maybe behind some existing plants, so eventually you'll start seeing them pop up behind there, and it'll be kind of like uh, spring in your uh, uh, in your aquarium. And then you don't have to worry about yucky looking plants, um, leaves floating all around your tank, or something that looks like that, which is really not that attractive. So just go ahead and snip them right above, uh, you know, leave, leave a little bit of room, snip them, have scissors, I got scissors, 
It is hot in here. All you gotta do is trim them. There you go. That's one beautiful looking plant. Plant it in your aquarium and uh, in no time you'll start seeing fresh new growth and you don't have to worry about an ugly looking plant or one that's melting in front of your very own eyes. So I hope these tips have helped. I love crypts. I don't know about you. Uh, my top favorite plants that I use almost in all of my nano tanks are some form of Anubias and crypts. And I am getting ready to do a very, uh, a very fun, more elaborate video on crypts as well. So maybe looking forward to that one. But uh, hopefully these tips will help you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.